Good morning, my dear children. I hope you all are taking good care of yourselves. Children, today we are going to learn few vocabulary words from the story The Magic Tree. You have already read the story and I'm sure you must have liked it a lot. So today we will see vocabulary words list 1 from the story The Magic Tree and then afterwards we will do one page from little thinker english so let's get started let's learn the vocabulary words from the story the magic tree the first word is one one children we all know number name of 1 1 represents value so here let's use it in a sentence please give me 1 cup of coffee let's move on to the next word the word is will will children repeat after me will represents future when we are doing some activity in future we use will now let's make a sentence how will i meet my friends without going out of my house now let's read this word and the word is have have children have represents the meaning of have is generally to hold or possess something yes to own something so we can use this word like this you please read this today i will have lunch with my friends the word is now the word is now children now represents the present time okay current time so let's use this word in sentence in a sentence i need a wax candle now and the word is pot pot children pot the meaning of pot is a vessel or a container yes in which we keep some liquid thing for example here you can see a teapot in the picture so let's use pot in sentence there is some fresh tea in the pot let's read the word and the word is sun sun children we all know about sun where can we see sun yes in the sky and sun is the biggest star in our solar system let's use sun in the sentence the sun gives light and heat let's move on to the next slide and the word is dig dig the meaning of dig dig is to break up or turn over or remove earth sand etc as with the help of spade or some sharp object yes or bulldozer now let's use this word in the sentence the boy uses a spade to dig the garden now let's read this word the word is we we generally we use we when we are talking about more than one person yes it is called plural when we talk about more than one person we use we for example let's read this word sentence we should follow traffic rules the word is may may when we are seeking permission we use this word for example may i come in teacher may i go to washroom teacher now here i have 
use this word in sentence like this. Let's read together. Teacher, may I ask you a question? The word is from. From. Generally, we use this word when we specify a particular time or place or a starting point. Yes. For example, I come from India. So, this way we are specifying a particular country or particular place. Now, let's use this word in the sentence. The school is far away from my house. Lot. The word is lot. Children, we use this word when we are indicating a group or a bunch or a set of objects. For example, you can see in the picture there are many people. So, we can use this word in sentence like this. A lot of people gathered in the street. You can see there are not one or two or three people but there are many people so that is why instead of many we can use lot of yes now let's read the word and the word is fall fall the meaning of fall is to come down or drop down suddenly you can see in the picture the tree is about to fall so let's use this word the tree is about to fall. Now, the next word is take. Take. The meaning of take is to hold or to grasp something or to get something or to catch something. Yes. So, now you can see there, there is healthy things, healthy habits you can see in the picture. So, let's use this word in healthy habit. We should take care of our health. We should do exercise, we should eat balanced diet and we should take enough sleep. So, these are the basic points to take care of our health. The last word is yet. Yet. Generally, we use this word when we, we are questioning or talking about something that has not happened but that you expect to happen. Yes, the, for example, I have used this word in the following sentence. I am yet to water the plant. That means I have not watered the plant but I am going to water the plant. So, this way we have completed list 1 of our vocabulary list and the story was the magic tree. I hope you will learn the vocabulary words and understand the meaning of vocabulary words. Thank you.